This is gonna be fun! So for those of you who haven't yet heard, uh, Tony Harris, artist on some great works such as Starman, Ex Machina, has come out with a very controversial statement about female cosplayers and why they cosplay, uh, accusing them of taking advantage of, you know, helpless nerd boys, something, something, something about boobies, whatever. Anyway, I decided to write him a little letter. Hi, Tony. My name is Danny Danger, and I'm the host of a web series where I talk about comic books, and I'm also a cosplayer. I've heard that you have a little bit of confusion about why we ladies like to cosplay, so I thought I would compile five reasons for you so that I could help you see my point of view. One. For your approval. <laughs> I'm just kidding, bro. I can't believe that you actually fell for that. That's funny. Number two, combining my love of high fashion with my love of superheroes is the coolest thing I could be doing right now. It's so much fun. Now, I know it might be a little scary. You're worried that we're going to get girl all over some of your favorite superheroes and their tights and knee-high boots. Number three, I play dress up as a little kid, and as an adult, I have the power, the skill, and all the money that I saved up from these three doubles I worked in a row to make the costume, but for a grown up. It's really fun, it's really cool, don't judge me. Number four, because I'm a crafty bitch. <laughs> not like steal your car crafty, not like steal your furniture while you're asleep crafty, just I, I make things, I, I sew. Anyway, it's my art, and you don't have a right to invalidate it. And number five, the final reason why I cosplay, and I'm really excited to announce this because this is a new addition to the list, just to piss you off. Now, every time I put my panties on outside of my pants, I'll be thinking of you, my friend. And by the way, I don't know what nerds you're hanging out with, but not all nerd guys are virgins who've never spoken to a girl. They get laid just like regular people. You should lay off and not be so judgmental. Look, dude. The bottom line is that we girls are all up in your comics, clam bacon your sausage fest, and there's not a damn thing that you can do about it. So you might as well just get on board and treat us like regular human beings too. I would really love to review Starman and Ex Machina. I'm a huge fan of you and it really sucks that you're condemning what I'm doing as your fan and you don't even know me. So now here's a really important question for those of you who are watching. Do you still want to see me review books like Starman and Ex Machina? Do you believe that you should completely separate an artist from their artistic work? Tell me what you think down below in the comments. Be sure to like this video, subscribe so you can see more of what we do. And the most important part, guys, please share this video everywhere. It's the only way that we can fight this kind of bass backwards stereotyping that's continuing to hurt the comic book industry and comic book creators everywhere. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter at Danny Danger so you can tell me what you think about it. Let's get interactive. As always, special thanks goes out to Austin Books and Comics and they know how to treat the ladies. Love. Danny Danger. Dude. Dude. Captain Marvel versus Captain Marvel. Monica's back and she is not happy with Carol Danvers in Captain Marvel number seven. Uh, lock and Key. Uh, lock and Key is, is fantastic. Um, it, it is my favorite comic. It's the one I keep up with the most.